am not a graphic design college educated hater. I love people who went to college. I think it's amazing that you went to college. And that's what I want to start this video off today by is telling you how proud I am of you and how you have an opportunity over people who are self-taught. I am not college educated, but I have worked very hard to get where I am today in my office here. And you have an even bigger opportunity if you're college educated. But that doesn't come without some disadvantages. So today's video is going to be why graphic designers who are college educated can suck. That doesn't mean they all suck, but some of them do. So without further ado, let's roll into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel. I'm Adrian Boysell. And today's video topic is about how graphic designers that are college educated can suck and how you can actually use your opportunity of being college educated to, as an advantage to you because you have an advantage. So we're going to get into it. I want to start by telling you a story. And that story is as my career has developed over the last 15 years, my career as a graphic designer started as it being a hobby. And then I opened up my first graphic design and print shop doing printing and sign work. And then I was doing all the graphic design at that time. Well, when I actually sold that company and started my marketing agency, I knew I was going to have to take myself out of the cog and out of the wheel of doing all the graphic design myself. I had gained a ton of experience. I'd built a huge reputation over a four year period of being an award winning graphic designer. And so I wanted to take all that experience and teach other people and bring other talented graphic designers in people that I had seen on Instagram, people who are college educated, people who are self taught. And I wanted to bring those people into my company and share their talents with the world and offer amazing services. Well, as I did that, I started to hire other graphic designers. Some of them were self taught, but honestly, the majority of the ones that I went after in the beginning were college educated students. I would put out ads on Indeed. I would put out now hiring ads all over the place, Craigslist, and the people that would inquire were mostly college educated people, people from prestigious universities, the Academy of Art, University of, of Designs, uh, Design and Technology Schools, people who had a graphic design bachelor's degree and even master's degrees. And I would get their resumes and some of them looked amazing. And I wondered to myself, man, how is this person even looking for work being as gifted and talented as they are? I did the interviews, everything seemed amazing. They had great personalities. And then we got started, right? I threw them their first project. And through throwing them their first project, I was able to find out within just two or three people that I hired of what a disaster I had walked into and what I couldn't even tell going into it that I was gonna have as a huge dilemma. And that dilemma was that college educated graphic designers, and this is number one, overthink and overanalyze everything. As somebody that came from the retail print and design world where I was designing a flyer in an hour and a half to two and a half hours max or designing a business card in 30 to 45 minutes at the most and designing a logo in three or four hours between research, colors and all of those things I was putting together stuff in less than a day. I was handing these projects off to graphic designers and they were taking a week, two weeks and sometimes even three weeks just to get a concept down. That wasn't even a finished project and I started going asking myself, why is this happening? What is it that's going on with these college educated students? These college educated students were overthinking and overanalyzing the situation. They were creating mood boards and putting together hours and hours and days and days worth of research just to try to come up with a concept that was original. And they were so focused on being original, that they were overthinking and overanalyzing the process. Many college students are taught a certain method and a certain process, and it's very hard for them to deviate from that. So that's number one is overthinking and overanalyzing. That is something that can be a downfall for a college educated graphic designer and something that I never fell into because when I'm doing graphic design and I'm coming up with a logo design for somebody or a business card design, as I get a feel for who they are as a person, I understand who my customer is. And once I understand that, I'll do a little bit of research, maybe 30 minutes to an hour worth of research of stuff that I like, I'll get inspired and I'll use that stuff in my research within 30 minutes to an hour for the graphic design project or the logo project or the business card design project. And I'll just go to work creating, whether it's sketching and doodling out something, I won't overthink it. I don't analyze it. And that's just part of being a self-taught designer. So that is one of the advantages that self-taught designers have that if college educated students could do more of that and be a little more free spirited, they'd have a lot more success and be able to turn around projects a lot faster. You don't have to overthink the process. Just get inspired, find something you like, find a couple things from each project that you like and move on and start creating. That's the goal is just to start creating. 
And number two is graphic designers are taught in college that are college educated, college graduated graphic designers. They're taught to be employees and not entrepreneurs. They're taught to follow directions and to follow a specific process that they were taught in school and not how to build a business. And that is part of what my mission is and my purpose here on these videos is to help fellow creatives, help fellow graphic designers go from just being an employee, making $30,000, $40,000 a year to being entrepreneurs and to be able to do this for yourself, to offer rates that you never even thought were possible. Be able to sell your work for $150, $250, $300 an hour based on per project work. So being able to actually understand how to price your stuff, how to structure your deals, how to go get business, how to attract customers, how to build a brand. College doesn't teach you any of those things. They may graze on some of those topics, but they don't go in depth on any of those things. So a lot of these people that are college educated graphic designers are just designing themselves to be employees and to be a cog in the wheel and be somewhere in the assembly line of a marketing agency. Maybe it's a creative piece for a website, uh, maybe it's a creative piece for a video ad, or maybe it's a creative piece for a graphic graphic ad for a magazine. They're just basically helping out in part of another process, and they're just a cog in the wheel. If you want to get out and actually make more money than you ever have before, you have to start thinking like an entrepreneur. And there are some repercussions for thinking like an entrepreneur, and it makes it hard sometimes to fit in as an employee, because you're going to want to offer your own insights, your own input, and your own ways that you can see on doing things better. Because a lot of businesses, although they may be successful, doesn't mean that they have the graphic design position or the processes down correctly. Even myself, there are areas of my business that I don't know it 100%. And so I need people that are experts to come in and give me that advice. And so when you're thinking like an employee, you're not thinking like an entrepreneur and giving good advice that can be used to help move that business forward. And that's really where you can go from being an hourly employee to being a person at a business that actually offers real lifetime value. Number three is a sense of urgency. For somebody that loves to just knock things out quickly and move on to the next thing, I'm the campaigner personality, that sense of urgency is incredibly important. When I had these former employees that were college educated people and they would go in and they'd be like, okay, well, I'm just gonna spend half my day doing research on a logo designer. I'm gonna go spend half my day looking at business card designs that I like. They're spending way too much time researching, again, overthinking and doing all these other processes and color theories and emotions, all these things. If you know who the customer is, you know their personality, and you know their brand, you shouldn't be spending a day, two days, or three days doing research alone or, or spending a couple days on color theory. I understand that you've been taught a process and there's a way to do graphic design the right way. I'm not asking you to go against that. I'm asking you to be open-minded, to be a little bit fluid, and to have a sense of urgency when you're doing these things. Spending an hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours, or a day, or a couple days researching something is overthinking it, and there's no urgency in that. You need to understand that time is of the essence, and the faster you can knock these projects out, the more money you can make, and you can move on to the next project. Now, obviously, if you're making more money, you can tend to spend a little bit more time per project, but there still needs to be a deadline. If you don't have a deadline set, like, hey, I have to have my research done by today at noon and it's 10 o'clock, I'm giving myself two hours. That means I can go and look at some things on YouTube, I can go look at some things on Instagram. It gives you a couple hours of window and maybe you can start sketching things out or doodling things while you're watching the research. It's about being productive about being efficient with your time so that sense of urgency is very very important and i see a lot of college educated people not having a sense of urgency because they're just being paid hourly so it's just hey i'm going to run up the clock and uh, i'm just going to try to make this look as good as it possibly can and that's just the, not the right mentality you want to get the job done you want to do it quickly so you can make the company look good the faster you can turn that project around the better the reputation is of the company you're going to work for the more clients they're going to attract the better the work you're going to get the faster you'll be promoted. If that's your dream and you wanna be promoted at the company you're working for because you love the company you're working for, hopefully that's it, They're, you're being paid well, but you wanna move up in that company to a better position, then that is the way to do it, is to show a sense of urgency, to be a problem solver, to not overthink and overanalyze things. Number four is many college educated graphic designers really struggle to adapt to different learning methods and to different methods in a business and to different processes. And they really struggle if you take out one of the letters in the alphabet, A through Z, they can't get onto the next step. And if you take something away like, hey, you only have 30 minutes to be able to do this research, then that's gonna, they, they struggle to be able to do that and then their, their work just suffers in the long term. So you have to be able to be willing to be quick on your toes, be able to be able to adapt to different methods and to different processes, and really overall, just be open-minded to learning some other ways. 
I've been doing this for a very long time, and even though I'm self-taught, I'm not college educated, I've developed processes for myself that I think that college professors should be teaching in universities that can help really move the ball forward faster and without ever compromising the quality of the design. You have to remember that and if you can't adapt to situations, you end up like Toys R Us, out of business. You have to be able to adapt against the people who are in foreign countries who are willing to work for 10% of what you're willing to work for and willing to work twice as many hours. Okay, if you're a Monday through Friday employee, again, I go back to that employee mindset, and you're working an eight hour day, you have competitors that are working 16 hour days. You have me that's self-taught. I know because you have an advantage that I have to work twice as hard to be able to compete against somebody that's a college educated graphic designer because they have more experience and more knowledge of technical knowledge and learning knowledge and theories and all the different things that they're taught during their four years and all the education that they put into themselves. I have to work twice as hard to be able to compete with those people. So being a self-taught graphic designer has helped me be very fluid and helped me learn on the fly and I've been able to create award-winning designs. Can you say that you've won award-winning designs? If you can't, you need to understand that I just get to the next project and I do my absolute very best and I put my heart and soul into every project I do. That's what's most important is that you really care about what you're doing more than overanalyzing and overthinking is that you care about the project. If this was your mom's logo, if this was your best friend's logo, if this was your best friend's business card, how would you want it to look? So don't overthink it, don't overanalyze it, and uh, just being willing to adapt because everybody is gonna have to learn to adapt in changing times and we are in changing times with the online world being at where it's at today. All right, and number five is being open-minded and not being closed-minded. This is a big area that I see college educated graphic designers doing a lot. And as a self-taught person, I'm very hungry and I'm very open-minded to what to learning and becoming a student and always staying a student. I'm always reading information, I'm always watching YouTube videos, I'm always taking tutorials, I'm always doing new trainings. I wanna to continue to improve my craft and work on a daily basis on getting better and better and better, even as a graphic designer. Even though I don't do a whole lot of graphic design, I still am always trying to improve my graphic design skills and I'm looking at people that inspire me on Instagram and other places. So it's important you stay open-minded and always be a student. If you have gone to a four-year college, a university of art or wherever that is, and you think you know it all, you know nothing. Your competition is practicing every single day, getting better and better. All the people of great people of our world were always students. So I want to encourage you to don't think you know it all because you just graduated from the greatest school in the country for graphic design. You need to remember that there are other people out there that have been doing this longer than you for 20, 30 years. And there are also people that just have natural gifts, natural creativity, natural things about them that you can't replicate just by going to school or by learning something out of a book. So you need to be open-minded, you need to be a student, you need to always continue to learn. And number six, this is a common one that I see college educated people because they're so highly educated and they've spent so much time learning and investing into their career. And man, kudos to you. If you spent money on a college degree or maybe you got a scholarship or maybe your parents paid for it, it doesn't really matter. But the fact that you had the discipline to go through graphic design school and you wanted to become the best. You didn't want to become the worst. You didn't want to become halfway okay. You didn't want to just do it just to make okay money. You wanted it to do, you want to make a mark in the world. You want to be great at what you do. And in order to do that, you can tend to be a perfectionist. And that is something that I even struggle with as a self-taught graphic designer is being a perfectionist. And it's not about perfection, it's about progress. You're not always gonna get it 100%. You're gonna look at the stuff that you spend way too much time overthinking, and you're gonna look at the stuff in a year from now and go, man, what was I thinking? I should have done this different and that different. It's the objectivity once you step away from it, once you get too close, it's hard to actually get objectivity. So you need to just focus on making progress and continuing to get better on each project. Not every single project has to be perfect. You're gonna have some projects that are just amazing, that are award winning, and you're gonna have some projects that are just okay. That's why it's important to focus on quality and quantity, but quantity over quality, because over that sequence and over that time period, each project that you do, you're gonna learn something more. And that's what you really want to do. That's what's most important is making progress and learning something new on every design project. I look at every new branding project, every new design project, every new design, whether it's a flyer design or a business card design or a billboard ad. I look at everyone as a new opportunity to try something new and to do something different. I'm not trying to perfect something. I'm not trying to overanalyze it and I can tend to do that, but I have to just remember my, and tell myself it's progress over perfection. And number seven is very, very important. And I saved it the best for last. I want you to love your craft more than you love your job. 
I'm not saying I don't want you to love your job, but I want you to fall in love with being a graphic designer, with being a graphic artist, with being a production artist, whatever it is that you're falling into in the graphic design world, maybe it's a web designer. I want you to fall in love with being that person. Most people are just doing it until they can get to the next role or they can get to the next promotion, to the next pay. It's all about the job. And they get to the next increase in pay or 401k or whatever it is, or they can get to their one year mark. Focus on just becoming the best in your industry and loving your industry and investing into your industry and just being an industry advocate. That's a new word that I'm gonna start using. Be an industry advocate in whatever you're doing, whatever your profession is, I want you to fall in love with that. I want you to love your job too. It's very important to love the people you work with and to surround yourself with the right people and love the role that you're in, but you also need to love the industry that you're in and support the industry you're in. Contribute to articles and to forums. Offer your advice to people who are younger than you. A lot of what I do is all about mentoring. I do this because I wanna help people no matter where they're at in their career, if they're college educated or if they're self-taught, or maybe they're on the streets. Maybe they're just trying to get up in the world and they're trying to get their own, make their own mark and they're an amazing artist but they've never had anybody give them a shot. I want you to be able to help people like that. That's what I wanna encourage you to do and that's the thing I wanna leave with this earth with is really encouraging you to fall in love with this industry and help other people follow that same passion. All right, so that is the seven reasons why most college-educated graphic designers can suck. I'm not saying that college-educated graphic designers suck, but I'm saying that there are things that can limit your career and that can limit your success. And I wanna help you break through, smash through ceilings and reach the biggest success that you've ever had in your life. And if you're a self-taught graphic designer, then you need to be aware that I've just armed these college-educated grads with some great knowledge. And you can take this and you need to understand that you're gonna to have to work harder, that they do have an advantage. They were taught all of the color theories and all the things that you may not know about, that you may have not researched yet, or even taught yourself. You may be highly skilled and that's awesome, but you're gonna to have to work harder and you're gonna to have to learn just as much as they are on a daily basis. So continue to work hard, continue to pour into this industry, continue to pour into yourself, and you'll be great. So thank you guys so much for watching with me today. Please pass this along to a fellow college grad or to a self-taught designer. A lot of people need to see this. I wanna spread the word and I need your love, I need your comments and I need your feedback. I'm gonna make more of these videos. I just thank you guys for being with me every single week. Hope you guys have a great day and as always, keep looking up.